Trav, what's good? Busted tight, what's up? What's up? What's up, Jenny? I just want to talk for y'all for a little bit, man. <clears throat> Make sure y'all go subscribe for Bless Radio on uh, YouTube. Just want to talk to y'all, man. <clears throat> a lot of stuff happening and going on. What's up, Tam? So I just <laughs> I just went on Twitter and I added Donald Trump and I told told him fuck you. So I might get uh, <clears throat> suspended off Twitter. I don't give a fuck. He's going to mo mobilize the military to stop protests. You, you fucking kidding me? How about mobilizing to find dirty fucking cops in all these precincts and get rid of them? But he want to mobilize the military. There's already police and National Guard regulating shit. This nigga want to mobilize the military. You know, the dudes that go to war and shoot other people that have guns. To not, not, um, not to help the police maintain order, but to stop the protests. So he's sending them in to stop the protest of killing of an uh, unarmed black man. Instead of mobilizing <clears throat> to help get rid of all these faggot ass, dirty ass cops. Not all of them, them dirty racist ones. Instead of mobilizing a unit to root all them out, he want to mobilize the military to stop protests. I guess he never saw uh, V is for Vendetta. I guess he never, uh, <clears throat> he don't pay attention to uh, protests in Europe. When they feel uh, pushed to the brink. Of no return How they turn the fuck up over there They throw all types of shit They don't give a fuck They throwing rocks at tanks Molotov cocktails All type of shit There's a worldwide protest for this There's cops kneeling Because of this And this crackhead Piece of shit 2.2 IQ minded fucking clown of a president is going to mobilize the military to stop the protest. Y'all watch what comes next. I think it's real now. Yeah, I know. Because election year is coming up. New Diggy. You're, you already know. We, we know what these politicians do. <clears throat> well, like I said. I told him fuck you on Twitter. So. If y'all follow me on Twitter. And you don't see me on there no more. Then. You know my shit got suspended or, or, or deleted. But. I really don't give a fuck. I had to vent. And I vented, so it is what it is. 
Mm. Yeah, I get it, new new diggy, but bro, it's. I have, I shouldn't even tell y'all this on, on social media because they say you ain't supposed to be saying anything that might get you, uh, fuck, you know, might get you uh, indicted or, but, uh, I'd be having like dreams of just doing something real, real grimy on some old. Let's listen to that Mob Deep song going all out with Little C's. You know what I'm talking about. Luckily for family and my kids. Imagine the people that are thinking about doing shit that ain't got no uh, support system. They really, really by themselves. Somebody was probably ready to turn up right now. Just like, uh. Just like that Dallas shooter. He went out. He went all out. And, uh. You know. I just need to vent, y'all. Some of the protests are going crazy to counter what the message is. Yeah. Yo, new diggy, man. Meet me in the live, bro. You a request, bro. Let's, let's chop it up. <clears throat> Waiting for new new diggy. Oh, okay. You try to get in? I don't know what happened. Oh, hold on. Try it again. What's up, Verena? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened, New Diggy. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just on here venting a little bit. That's all. Slick Nick, what it do, bro?
Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> fine. Uh, yeah. What's good, brother? <laughs> chilling, man. I'm just sitting here chilling. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. No doubt. I just, I just sent a uh, uh, message to the tribe. Oh, I see brother Dragon Ed Santos. What's good, y'all? Yeah. So yeah, when, when you look, when, when you look at this man, um, he can say all of that, but it's going to be very difficult for the military to do for him, for them to do what he's trying to claim. Even the Secret Service has already come out and said that the shit he's saying they did, they did not do. And that by law, they can't. So someone yeah. told him to invoke the uh, Resurrection Act, Insurrection Act of 1867, 1807, something like that. Mm -hmm. so, that's, so that's the law that he would try to use to mobilize the, uh, the military. So the last time they actually did that was in 92 for the uh, Rodney King riots. Rodney King, yeah. But you didn't see the military. I mean, like he's talking about bringing soldiers from Fort that. Bragg and stuff. You didn't really see that. So yeah. the states are invoking the National Guard. So when you look at the National Guard, they actually have, by the Constitution, law. Uh, they have... By law, they can they can act as law enforcement officers. Yeah, yeah. Where there is a law that says the military is not allowed to be used on its own people. So when he says, I'm sending them to the border for this, well, they're not allowed to go in a law enforcement capacity. So that's why when he's saying, I'm sending them to the border to do this with the, with the, yeah, you know, yeah. To stop it. they can't do with the border he's patrol. A, he's dude. a fucking retard, man. I swear he's to God, he just spit after. shit. And it's like, you know what they're saying in the background, like, yo, why don't you shut the fuck up? Like, no, that you can't do that. It's the same with the COVID shit. When the doctor was saying this and he's saying, and the doctor's like countering what he's saying, like, uh, no, that's like not true. And then yeah. you don't see the doctor on there talking no more now. Yes, and that's exact yeah, because it's it's making he thinks it's making him look bad. But in a way, I hope he keeps going like this. Now you gotta remember some things. So yeah. I hope he keeps going like this because all he's doing is make himself look bad. But you got to remember some things now. Um, I'm just frustrated, bro. I'm you know, just, they're I'm... looking. So, so when you look at it, look at it like this. You know, they're waiting to see for the Russians, the Chinese, the uh, Koreans, the Jap. Um, not so much the Japanese um, mm -hmm. countries in Africa to mm -hmm. interfere in the election. They're already looking for that. So he can't cheat that way. So he's got to find some other way. So some other things that came out a while ago, some months ago, was if something can happen to where he can, what, you know, what one of the questions were, uh, what would happen if martial law is declared at around election time? Does that mean he has to step down? Mm. So some of these things are looking at because he's trying to find another way because he knows he's going to lose. Yeah. Um, so he's trying to find some ways to circumvent the Constitution, and that's the reason why he wanted to say we were in a, uh, a wartime president war on COVID-19. That way he could execute wartime powers. Mm. That didn't go across the way he wanted it to. Exactly. The killing of Floyd and the protesters, well, this is the way he can come off. Now, he can go off like what, well, not go off, but he can try to use what was used during the Rodney King riots, but you got to remember, it didn't, military, by law, they can't do that. Now, he can't declare war on his own country. Exactly. In order to declare war, he's got to go through Congress. Now, you're not hearing Congress saying much right now, and that's only because they already know. So yeah. he can be a blowhard all he wants. However, there's other shit that could happen in the background. So when I saw the thing out that where you know he's saying he's going to invoke that act, I'm well, a law and order president. Like, no, nah, well, the, yeah, oh. shut the fuck up. But so he's now the smart. other thing is he has to issue the um the uh, he has to make the issue of everybody disperse and go home. Mm -hmm. He's got to give time to do all of these things to give people time to go home and, you know, things get under control before he can invoke that act. Yeah.
Daryl, what's good, man? Daryl said, "What's up, Newt?" Hey, what's up, Daryl? So you know, you gotta, you gotta. Uh, those are other things out there that have to be watched. So I'm yeah. watching what he's what he's doing carefully. When I saw you went live and I saw what you was talking about, I said, "Okay, let me go ahead and, and hit him with a little something." The other thing yeah. is uh, Willie D brought it out, said, and he had one that showed some people saw a white dude at one of the protesters putting together an assault rifle. They put people put the attention on it and the police came and detained him. Now, I don't know what happened after that. Wow. So some of these people, some of these videos, especially some of the ones I'd be sending to the tribe and, and some of the ones I'd be sending directly to uh, personal shots. Some mm -hmm. of them you got to watch. You got protesters trying to stop people from damaging shit. And the yeah. ones who's doing all the damaging ain't black. Yeah. So that's, that's why the video they show on fucking Fox and all, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. There's mad different people, race people out there. But they ain't showing the stuff where the black people stopping them from tearing shit up. I even yeah. got one. I'm going to go back through my Instagram and when I find it, I'm going to shoot it to y'all where black people are protecting a cop who got, uh, well, there are some white people in it too, so I'll just say protesters mm -hmm. protecting a cop who got um, uh, isolated from the group. When the group took off, somehow he got away. He was about to get smashed, and the protesters mm -hmm. protected him from getting smashed. I'm going to go back through my through my Instagram, and I'll and I shoot that to you. Oh, and it was shit. like, wow, but there ain't nobody talking about that kind of stuff. No, nah, no, nah. of course See? not. So now they talking about L.A. What to do with the bow and arrow, right? Yeah, yeah. From my yeah. Own, I was sitting in my car and these, these two, he goes, these black African-American men. Like, I laughed when black I heard man it. or African-American man. He had to double down on the black. So you I, know I, what his mentality is. I Lying laughed. motherfucker, bro. And then, and then. It um, on his ass. Yeah, so now let me tell you about what's going on out here. So Tam say what me, up, Newt? Hey, who's who's that? Oh, what's up, Tam? So out here, they talking. Uh, you know, you got people protesting and going crazy, right? Yeah. Now, I told you, there's only five percent population of blacks in California. They got yeah. crunk up there in the Oakland and the Bay Area, mm -hmm. and they got crunk in L.A. But here's what they did this time: they didn't tear up down in the hood. They was up on Rodeo Drive. Melrose Place up there in Beverly Hills. That's yeah. where they were tearing up and looting. That's and yeah. So they wouldn't tear their own neighborhoods up. That's right. So here in San Diego, there's a, a little suburb outside the way called La Mesa. Last mm -hmm. Wednesday, the La Mesa police detained a brother at the trolley station, train station. Unlawfully, people was out there, so people started going crazy. So when this, when people started protesting on this, what they were doing in La Mesa, they was protesting not only Floyd, but the brother that they detained unlawfully last week. Mm. They burned up not one, but two banks, Union Bank and Chase Bank. They burnt up Saturday night. Oh, shit. They oh, burnt shit. up a lot of stuff. Police went away. I mean, and they kind of just let it go. So Sunday mm. is when they started coming crunk and it started trying to set things down out here. Yeah. But Saturday, Saturday, they went off the they went off the hook, man. I mean, they got they got crunk. Yeah, that's why when I was when I was DJing and people were like, yo, it's you know, it's going crazy right now in America. And I was like, I didn't know what was going on. And I was like, Damn, should I tune in? I was like, nah, don't don't even tune in. They're like, nah, man, let's let's just rock out with the music. Yeah, and I yeah. said, I'll find yeah. out Sunday. Yeah. I was listening. I was listening when you when you did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You went there, yeah. So I was like, then Sunday, I'm like, damn, all these seas, like niggas was turning up. Yeah. But even I was watching the protests, bro. They protesting overseas behind this shit. Belgium and there, yo, there's mad cops I've been seeing, like, yo, that dude don't represent us. Yo, the kneeling, like people getting emotional, like, yo, this shit is real right now, bro. Hey, now what's the NFL got to say about Cap? Yeah. I think I think D sent, sent one uh, a pick that had the way the cop was kneeling on the brother and then had Cap kneeling on the flag. On the Yeah, or kneeling yeah. on the cop, I think, or some shit like that, right? Yeah, it, 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 was, it was dope. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's going to get crazy right now, and uh, 
So things are, I, I guess I'll say calm, but the reason why I brought up out here is like I said, you don't got a whole lot of blacks. So everything that's being protested here is everything. But, well, you got black people out there too, but yeah. you got every other race in the world out there going crazy yeah. in San Diego. When I saw what they were doing yesterday, put it like this, it got so bad last night that the governor put out a thing and shut down all state house, all state offices in downtown areas of all cities in the state of California. Wow. Yeah, New Zealand was deep in numbers protesting, as Brother Dragon. Yo, and they, they showed this clip of some news dude. I don't know if it was CNN. Somebody, he was talking, and he was out He was out in the streets, like, saying a protest. And some, some white dude, he looked like a college kid. He came behind him. He was like, well, if they stop killing blacks, this fucking shit won't be happening. Like, live on the air and shit. <laughs> And the dude, the reporter was like, uh, 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 like he didn't know what to do. That nah. shit was hilarious. But the white dude was like, yeah, stop killing black people. This won't fucking happen. Hey, that's pretty much what the message is. Obama came out with a with a message today. I don't know if uh, if y'all seen it. I'll, it's in my yeah. Instagram. I shoot it over. And uh, they were saying, you know, the difference between uh, a leader and a blowhard. Yeah. yeah. He's a blowhard, whereas the way Obama came out and presented it, from the views of the people. I got another one in my Instagram, um, or yeah, where it's this cop who was talking about it and was like, just like you said, he don't represent us and all kind of stuff and stood with the people. Um, mm -hmm. I forget there's another place where the cops put down, in Texas, I think, they put down their batons and shit and started marching with the people. Yeah. They yeah. looking at what that dude did was wrong. Yeah. They're like, yeah, they said, we're, we're not out here stopping you. We're going to march with y'all so y'all can protest peacefully. But we're going yeah. we're gonna, to uh, have y'all back and, and protect y'all. They had another one in Denver today where there's nothing but a bunch of white people sitting around. Um, they had what's one here. What's up? Hey, what's up, D? So I had to uh, I had to go to the to the VA hospital today. And on my yeah. way home, I was going to stop, you know, drive through downtown and then roll through the city streets on the way back. Yeah, Bruh, they had downtown on lock, on lock again, mm. and I didn't even know. So when I got home and I got on the internet, that's when I was able to see that um, they was out there again today. So I did get downtown. Yeah, so and I they got it on lock. So this fucking blowhard talking about sending fuck you sending military in for they shit they got shit on lock already. Like you know what I mean? Like they out they ain't out here killing police. They ain't out here. You know what I mean? Like doing some crazy shit like where the police are so over... You know what I mean? He just talking mad shit once again. Yep. Brandy, what's up? Oh, that's who that is, Brandy? Yeah. Oh, what's up, Brandy? Real Queen City Diva. Oh, okay. So, yeah, man, it is crazy, but um, they uh they pretty much put it... Got it on lock. I mean, yesterday, all I heard was sirens like crazy, yo. Wow. All wow. night long. Ooh. Even today, but not as bad. Because mm -hmm. you got people going back to work, well, some of it. And then they opening up things out here, too. So pay yeah, attention yeah. to this one. Um, it's going down, and everybody's talking about Floyd, but pay attention to this because it's real. COVID cases are spiking again. Yeah. Yep. There's outbreaks everywhere. Yep. Georgia, exactly. spiking, California spiking. Everywhere in the everywhere in the Midwest, and it's the same thing that Fauci said a while ago. You these are the states you ain't gonna do because it started like on the coasts. Travelers coming from on the west coast, coming from China and, mm -hmm. and Asia, and on the east coast coming from Europe. But once it gets off the coast, it's gonna spread inland. So all these states that you ain't hear nothing about in the first spot, here they come. Mm -hmm. Now, what you gonna yeah. do about that? We wanna open back up. Now it's about to get rampant. That's what I'm saying. People trying to go outside. No, motherfucker. Still stay in the house. Like, this shit ain't over. This shit ain't over. And now you say it's going to get yeah, worse because yeah. they've got all these people outside next to each other. Pro like, you know what I mean? It's, it's bad, bro. It's bad. They plan this. He said, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some of it. So, you know, for it to keep going and going and going, and then you don't see as many black people in it. There's a there's something behind it. Like uh, Willie D, I was looking at his stuff, and he was like saying the things that he was seeing online, where you got the white supremacists 
are trying to use this as a way to start a civil war. Now, remember, I told you about the dude that they caught putting together an assault rifle. Yeah. So now, and, and then the dude with the bow and arrow. Yup. So yeah. there's a lot of, there's a lot of, this, there's a lot to this, which was what I was trying to get out. There's a lot to this shit, more to it than just what you see. And it's a way to get him to be able to exercise some type of presidential power to where hopefully they can put off the election. Mm. So mm. that's why he's pissed off about people mail-in voting. And it was Texas that came out and was like, or was it one of them small Washington, Texas, somebody came out and said, we've never had a problem with mail-in voting. So he got shot mm. down on that one too. So mm. he's, now let me show you the biggest one that's out there. The Postal Service said because of COVID-19, we might go bankrupt, no loot. Yeah, so, they were already in the negative for years they have, anyway. They have been. So Trump's not going to, he's not going to sign the bill to give them more money to keep operating. So if that's the case, how are you going to get your mail, how are you going to get your mail in vote, your, 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 mail, your mail ballot? However, I don't see that going anywhere because it's been the norm for years with the upcoming of Amazon and all that and, and all that other stuff. And then yeah, spread yeah. the wealth of UPS and FedEx. Mm -hmm. But the mail is the mail. And yeah. you got to remember, the Postal Service is its own entity, even though they're funded by the government. They're not like all the other departments with the government that people think. They're different. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you pay it, watch what watch when you hear anything about the Postal Service or even Google it. He's trying to get deep in there. And if he can if he can screw up the post office then that will screw up the mail-in ballots due to COVID-19. See how deeper it can get? Yeah, that's all. That's the shit that I'll be sitting here paying attention to. The, the, the motherfucker talking about make country great again, he's doing the opposite to this country. Yes, he is. absolutely. They have absolutely. no idea. Their white privilege, their fucking superiority, that complex they fucking have, they're the ones fucking imploding this fucking country. Not only that, not the let me, Mexicans and the minorities. So let me put you up on game. This is some shit I heard when I was sitting in the county some years ago. Them white supremacist groups, they got it right. Let me show you why they got it right. Mm -hmm. So if I got a bunch of white women get with black men, they will not have white babies. They will have mud children, what they call mud people. Yeah. Only white. So I don't care what you mix with it, you are slowly decimating the white race. Oh, yeah. You mix the white with anything, it's no longer pure. No. Nope. But as they call it. So now they are slowly going away. Uh, the one thing that I do know is I think it was 2017 was the first year that minorities outnumbered whites going into kindergarten. Mm. Kindergarten. Now, mm. look how deep I'm going with that. Yeah. So what does that mean you're going to be in 18 years, 20 years? We ain't going to be minority. That's right. We already the majority. Already the majority, but the minority holds all the wealth and power. So think about a lot of things that Pac said. Um, each one teach one. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah, so so a lot of that, a lot of this other stuff. So when I was sitting in the county, because out here, um, the jails are based on race. So I was sitting in there and I'm not even knowing. And uh, I didn't know that the, my celly was a shot call. So we was mm -hmm. just sitting in there talking one day and um, I mentioned some shit. I was like, yeah, you know how niggas be out the crib walking. He jumped up, got pissed. What? I nigga, this blood. Oh, okay. Mm. Clam up because you don't know. So that's the yeah. reason why a lot of times, okay. So then he put me up on game. So I was like, well, look, man, I'm from Ohio, man. I'm out here. I don't even really bang. You know what I'm saying? He was like, well, your race is your game. Huh? Your race is your game. Mm. Same way we grew up. You see a black person get jumped, you better jump in. Yeah. Same thing. That's how the prisons mm. are. Mm. And that's how it is. So with, the, with them knowing that every time you make a white with anything other than white, you're cutting off their race, mm -hmm. which is why they're trying. That's why you hear them talk about self-preservation and all that other shit. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, so that's where it comes from. They only cure and all that. So I think it was like in 1990, Europeans only made up 25 percent of the Earth's population, Mm. and getting smaller. Mm. That's where a lot of that comes from. Now Trump, we already know he's been his his bigotry has been out there since the 80s when he got sued in New York. Yeah. So all the Dr. stuff he's saying ain't nothing new. Yes, right. Ain't, ain't nothing new, bro. It's nothing new. So me living in a military town is the only is the reason why I, I'll say the only reason I can say that the stuff that he's saying he wants to do with the military ain't gonna happen. Yeah, ain't gonna happen <clears throat> because what you're gonna be doing is now you're putting all your military out there at risk for COVID. We already got a risk enough. Because that yeah. U.S. Theodore Roosevelt, its home port is here in San Diego, and they'll be home pretty soon. And I work on that base where that ship is stationed at. We also have military on my base with COVID. We also yeah. have federal civilians. So the one thing I know that they're doing is trying to protect the uniform. The last thing you want to do is put them out there on your own people for no reason. Yeah. It ain't going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I, you know what I'm saying? I- Man, this <laughs> it ain't gonna happen, man. I'm telling you, it ain't gonna happen. I know. I'm just, I'm just, yo, us as black men, bro. Like, it's enough bullshit. You know what I mean? It's just like, like I just ordered, I just ordered a pistol, bro. You know. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be armed up, bro. Cause I, you know, I don't know. Hey, so the thing that one of the things was, hey, man, you got to it. <clears throat> hey, 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 you're right, you right, Brandy. Trump, hey, Trump, hey, he been a racist. We all know that one. Right. So right. over there in Atlanta, man, uh, Willie D put it out there about Killer Mike and T.I. getting on TV begging. And then a lot of the comments on the video that they had, they talking about they done been fake. The, the establishment owns them. That's why they out there doing what they do. Please take these bullets out of my hand. These ain't mine. <laughs> <laughs> you saw that shit on Punk? <laughs> yes, With T.I. Man. <laughs> Yo. And then the other one, they had that girl on there that was talking with Willie. And then he put that country music behind it. Um, that's the one I sent to you guys. That shit was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is Brandy on the Full Blast Tribe uh, page? Instagram? I can have um, I can, I can, yeah, that way I can shoot, shoot, that, shoot some of this stuff over. We talking about over to her. That way she can see it. Oh, it's Randy, are you on the um? Are you are you following the Full Blast uh, Tribe IG page? Wait for the answer. I think she is. I gave um. What's the, the credentials and stuff? So. Oh okay. Uh, oh, she will be. Oh okay. Right. Yeah, yeah you Full Blast see. Radio Tribe, uh, Brandy. Yeah, you got to see some of this stuff that we be sending out. I mean, that I be looking at, that I be seeing, it is comedy. Yeah, it said, all I can say is that sad what's going on. It's unfair and straight bullshit. All you can do is teach your kids to treat everyone the same like I do. Yeah, man. Yeah, so that's the only, that's the only thing you can do because you're going to have it's those out there. Home. Yeah, you're going to have those out there that are going to that are gonna do opposite. So, you know, when you look at it, I mean, they are bred to be racist because of their upbringing and that's that insecurity yep. of their parents you know what i'm saying yeah that's a fact i remember my yep. parents saying this shit when i was a young teenager they were just we were just talking they were talking about you know you know if you get in relationships or whatever they were like yo we you know we don't care you know who you date like you know what i'm saying you just treat them right as long as they treat you right i remember them yep. saying that shit to me like yep. 30 something years ago and it stuck yep. you know See, so so my daughter, she's getting ready to marry a white dude. Okay. She actually had to hit me up. Yeah, you're right about that, Ed. She had to hit me up and she asked me, um, was I okay with it? And I was like, shit, I didn't date many white girl in my day. What's wrong with you? Mm-hmm. You know, so she she thought I was gonna be mad and you know pissed off at him. He's a pretty cool dude. You know, I met him. But yeah, Ed hit it right. Well, he understand, he, you know, what's What's, you know, what, you know, because, you know, it's still a, I don't know, I, I see, because uh, I, I knew a lot of white people that grew up 
in our neighborhood, grew up in our culture. So there's no questions, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, there's one dude that he's, like, considered uh, family to me. We kind of got, like, like extended family somewhere that's connected. And uh, uh, this dude, Brad, Brad Moore, and um, we grew up. And he's half white and black, but he looks white. Now, he's he was dating, you know, dates black women, whatever. And I never looked at him like, you know, oh, well, you know, you have to make sure that, you know, you coming like kind of into our culture just to have that respect if we're feeling some type of way about certain shit that's racist. Because, you know, sometimes it's it's not in them to feel that certain way because they haven't experienced it. That's right. You know but people from the, the I can say hood, neighborhood I grew up in, they were already ingrained in the culture. So it's like there was no explanation. But people outside of that, I guess outside of that, haven't experienced seeing cops pulling us over for no reason, seeing their racism shit. Like it's natural for them to kind of like don't even think about it, but they need to. They need to uh, not be checked, but they need to, you know. Just be aware of like, yo, this this shit is real for us. Like, this ain't we ain't making this up. Yeah, so you know, like the one thing, like the city I live in, but like this, all the cities around me, all of them ended up getting curfews imposed on them. Yeah, um, government shut down, and, and I mean all kinds of shit, except for mine. Now I live right by the uh, police station, and the fire mm-hmm. station right across the street from me. And that's the reason why I can hear everything, you know, when they take off, whenever they're doing something. But yeah. we, but but here in my city, you didn't see really many people going off. Now, mind you, I only live eight miles from the Mexican border. Mm. So, wow. you know, yeah. So if you want to get it set off, man, it could easily get set off <laughs> right here. But wait, 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 where are you? What city are you in? My city is called Chula Vista. Oh, okay. So, yeah. oh, wow. I didn't know you were that close to the border. Yeah, yeah. So, it's like where, you know, so you come across the border because, like, San Diego kind of, like, surrounds us. So, on the west of me is the ocean. The south oh. of me is San Diego and then the border. On the east of me is um, that's where you're going out into cities like Spring Valley, Lemon Grove. Those are unincorporated areas. Okay. So, and then the north of me is a city called National City, and then you run into San Diego. But if you're driving, you can't tell the difference between which city you done went through. It's just riding down the street. You never oh. even know that you went into another city. Wow. Because it's yeah. so, like, like connected, like, to yeah. together. You don't even look yeah. like you left. That's right. So, like, the, so Broadway, when you get to National City, it turns into National City Boulevard. When you get to San Diego, it turns into Main Street. Okay. Oh yeah. Street. Yeah, the streets. Yeah, that one street changes when you go across different towns. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, on Long Island. It's the same way. Uh, they have a main street, and then when it goes into another little town, it's a different name. Then when it goes into the village of the next town, it turns into Main Street again. Yes, but it's the same damn street. You just roll yeah. that one, and you never can tell the difference. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's the reason why. So like with San Diego, the county is spread out. But a lot of the city part is pretty much connected until you start to get north and east. That's when shit starts to get spread out. And that's when mm. you're out there with all the rednecks and shit. Mm. But they didn't get crazy out there. Yeah. And they didn't. And they protested downtown. Now, look, they protest in San Diego all the time. Um, Cesar Chavez Day. So that's only a holiday in the state of California. Oh, um, wow. yeah. Uh, May Day, May 1st, my birthday, they protest. So I don't even celebrate my birthday because police everywhere because everybody marching everywhere. Oh, so, damn. I'm gonna, so I'm in the crib. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we so, celebrating on Full Blood Radio, so word. Yeah, oh, Ed, it's put it like this, man. I think this is the only place on earth that you can go skiing in the mountains, mm-hmm. ride dew bugs in the desert. And go surfing in the ocean all in one day. Damn, because it's so the temperature gauge is, is 
Well, San Diego, San Diego is actually really a city in the mountains. So it starts on the ocean, mm -hmm. but the further you get inland, you start hitting the mountains. So skiing ain't nothing but maybe an hour and a half, two hours away. Wow, that's crazy. And then the that's high crazy. desert, and then the high desert is right after that. I mean, so if I was to start in the mountains, I'd go skiing in the mountains. Once I come out of the mountains, I'm gonna hit the desert. Yeah. It's a high desert. And coming out of the high desert is gonna get me down in towards the city to the ocean. And mm -hmm. I could drive from here up into the mountains to go skiing in two hours and be wow. back down here in two hours. So I could ski, ride dune bugs, and get home before the sun sets and go surfing. Go surf. <laughs> Thing. It's the right. only place on earth you can do that. Yes, you're right, Ed. It's, yeah, the weather is nice, man. And, and I mean, shit. Hey, when I first got here, it's like 75 and sunny mm. every day on wow. average. Does it get down to like 60 sometimes? Yeah, in the wintertime. But other than that, psh, man. That's crazy. I never knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is great. Rhode Island like that, too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rhode Island. Uh. I was asking Ed, that's where he's at. Uh -huh. But yeah, man, so so I got a I have a, a friend of mine who lives in uh Atlanta and she just hit me up uh mm -hmm. saying that she was checking in and I said, Yeah, I hear y'all going crazy down there. She's yeah. she hit me back, shaking my head and said, I'm coming to move with you. Oh, she, shit. she used to live out here and she moved mm -hmm. over there. Oh, okay. But she was telling yeah. me how much she loved it. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I saw the, uh, you know, the news reports. Um, I get alerts on my phone uh, from a, uh, it's like an online paper called The Local. It's got, but they, you know, they talk about stuff that happens around me and in Georgia and shit. And I was getting those alerts. Like, I said, Kemp, because we was on a curfew, a statewide curfew. Yeah. Kemp put that in order. And um, then I saw the, I was like, Killer Mike. T.I., what's that about? T.I. talking about uh, Atlanta's Wakanda. Like, we got to protect it at all costs. Yeah, man. Willie D. clowned him. I know T.I. trying to help. I, I get it. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? The people, there's people that, that ain't out there and they complain. And I get it, but I don't know. Sometimes with that dude, it's, I don't know. It's, I don't know. He just, sometimes he, he just, it seems like he just talked to be talking, like yeah, he, he just rubbing the wrong way sometimes. Like. Hey Ed, yeah man, I I can see that man. I didn't know y'all had PJs man until I seen uh, seen y'all on live PD. They oh, love Rhode, yeah, they love Rhode Island on live PD man. <laughs> yeah, they stay locking people up on live PD. Rhode Island, word like man, Rhode yeah, Island got a gangster like that. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's the same thing I said. I was like, "Damn!" But yeah, man, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna, you're gonna see a lot of crazy stuff mm -hmm. coming out of the president's mouth because he's already talking about moving the Republican national. Actually, they haven't even said if they're gonna have a convention because of COVID. He's already talking about a convention, and then because North Carolina is like, well, you know, we don't know. He's talking about we'll move it. So behind the scenes, a lot of his GOP counterparts are not happy with the shit he's saying and doing. Yeah. But they no, tell him to have it. it. Huh? Tell him to have it. Because he oh. don't wear a mask anyway. Him and the vice president. Tell him to have the convention. So the thing is, now see, he's running his mouth, but he, let me tell you what I found out and what I know based on working for the Navy. And I remember I just spent eight years in the Navy. Mm -hmm. In the White House... In the White House, they are doing daily testing, temperature testing, contact tracing daily. So the states that are looking for leadership and direction, the White House is doing exactly what the states are asking for. But Trump won't give them what they need. That's why they say they're taking it upon themselves. But they mm -hmm. have to get all the supplies and material to be able to do it. So over mm. on my base, it took them a while to get the logistics in place. But now when we do go back to work, we're going to have face masks and hand sanitizer. And they're going to set us up to where we're social distancing, right? Putting us, some of us, you know, telework three days a week and be in the office two days a week, right? Mm. 
But the thing that he's not telling you is in the White House, they're doing everything that the states are asking for. Now, ask that motherfucker, why is he not giving the states the blueprint for what they're doing in the White House? Hmm. Hmm. So when yeah. he's out there talking that shit, oh, he's getting tested every day. Ain't nobody coming around. They are social dead. So you're saying that, you know, behind the scenes, you're hearing they weren't, they weren't. Okay, well, they don't have to be, but they're getting tested every single day. Because you could test negative today and be positive tomorrow. Mm. So that's the crazy part. So when they, you hear them saying testing, 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 they're doing it in the White House. Yeah. Mm. And then the other thing coming up saying, well, your doctor has to have you get a test. That's because they didn't have enough supplies. Now, here in San Diego, we're like the biotech capital of America. I want to say because it's, it's, it's a, a spot in, in, in the county called Sorrento Valley. Mm -hmm. Sorrento Valley is the Silicon Valley of the South, especially when it comes to startups like Qualcomm, where you get your Snapdragon processors for your phone. Mm -hmm. It's based right here in San Diego. Yeah. Your headquarters is right here. Um, Samsung's finally moved in, and you know they're Google surprised me Google. two years ago. They they quietly moved in. Mm. Now, when you talk about biotech, all of your major biotech companies are right here, and they are all working on vaccines, tests, how to do contact tracing. Um, the major research university in America. University of California, San Diego, UCSD, right here. Um, the doctor that I'm seeing, because I have this lung infection, and, I, and I'll tell you about that one. When I went to go see him today, he started telling me about some things that's going on. So mm -hmm. when it comes down to it, a lot of that research is being done right here in San Diego. Man. Yeah. We got other places, but I mean, I, I'm not, I mean, you here, they're, they're bitten. Like when, when the Zika virus came out, a biotech company I was working for, as soon as they talked about how bad it was hitting, we were already working on a vaccine. We were already working on one. So when he's sitting there doing all this talking and they're talking about how fast the vaccine's going to come, I can tell you this, ain't going to happen because you have trials. So you can't really get to the point to where you're doing um, control group and pseudo group um, trials until you get to like stage four. Mm. So you got to go through stage one, two, and three before you can ever get to the point to say, okay, we're ready to deploy. Because mm -hmm. there's like seven phases that you got to go through. And I know that from working at that biotech company I was at. So I hear him talking and I know firsthand it's like he's full of shit. Yeah. Everything he's saying, he's full of shit. He's Every, just yeah. Everything, yeah. He's, like I said, for years, he's just been a fucking blowhard saying shit that, that don't fucking exists saying shit that ain't true like like where does this dude get the fucking audacity to just spew shit out of his fucking mouth that he knows ain't true like this it shows how dumb this fucking country is that they elected this dumb motherfucker in the first place and that's the bad part is they're sitting back looking saying you know he probably could still win yeah yeah I'm just looking back to see where they're gonna catch the cheating from so all the dumb people, motherfuckers that vote for them, they didn't leave. <laughs> they still yeah. here. But yeah, but see, now I got it. Now I'm sitting back looking at it like this. For all the stuff he said he was going to do, said we're going to bring back coal. Look at here, man. I'm from Ohio. And I already know. My dad told me in the 80s he didn't want me in the auto industry or the uh, steel plants because he yeah. retired from the steel mill. My grandfather's uncles, they all worked in the steel mill and the auto plants. My dad told me in the 80s. I don't want you in those. Why is that? Because they ain't going to be around. Look at it. They ain't around. I go back to Ohio and, and everything is dead because they're, you know, coal. When we started going to renewable energy, everybody knew coal was going to be gone. So when yeah. he came back and got all them people hyped up about coal, slap yourselves. That's been going down since the 80s, man. Coal, <laughs> you know I mean? like, this nigga serious, bro. We might as well go back to um horse driven carriages and shit and uh, just get rid of all the cars and shit. It ain't gonna happen. DJ Goomba, what's good, bro? DJ Salute. Goomba, what's up, man? Death Squad. So yeah, so you know, we gotta I'm looking at it like like that in the big picture. Now all these people who got hurt by him mm -hmm. economically, 
I mean, if they vote for him again, it's only going to get worse. That's just like Reaganomics. Everybody talk about he was the greatest president. Pay attention to what happened in the 80s, man. Please. Him, he made a deal with the Russians to import their steel, and that is the dagger that started hurting U.S. steel, where my dad worked. And I, I remember when they, they went on strike in 84, 85, and it was, a, it was bad. It was a mm -hmm. serious strike. And it was it was it hurt bad. So Trump is going to do the same thing. It's already there. If they can't see the writing on the wall, then I don't know what to tell them. They're just too damn dumb. Well, yeah. they're banking on that white supremacist uh, um, stance that he has. That's mm -hmm. who's going to keep him in there. All those races. And remember what Malcolm said. Malcolm said, "I'd rather be dealing with a wolf than a fox." Huh? What do you mean by that? Malcolm said, "Well, you deal with that wolf, you know exactly where he's coming from." Yeah, but the yeah. fox was sitting here in your face instead of cutting you up in the back. Yeah, so I'd rather so, deal with a wolf than a fox. Yeah, so a lot of them Democrats that are speaking out and, and Amy Klobuchar trying to be Bi Biden's vice president as a woman, she already got caught. So she is one of them closet races too, even though she's oh. trying to come out and talk. And she's a senator from Minnesota. Wait, what's she say? Will she get caught? Well, um, I I'd have to go back and look at it. But it came mm -hmm. out the other day of some of, of some stuff that, that came out about her. Um, and they're trying to bring up the stuff that Biden did in the 80s and early 90s, where they're yeah. trying to say it was like a ruthless type stance. So Biden, you know, but yeah. so you really got to understand. I mean, you got the president is like the CEO, but he can't really do nothing unless the board of directors, which is the House and the Senate, allow him. Yeah. The House and Senate don't allow him. He can't do it. And that's why they're saying the Republican controlled Senate. They're allowing him. Now that the Dems own the House, Nancy's not mm -hmm. allowing him to do jack. And that's the reason why she's his arch nemesis, because you got to remember the budget. And all right. All right. Ed, take it easy, man. Uh, yeah. Yo, I saw man. That truck, man. The truck looked nice. Yeah, man. Official, man. Congrats, bro. And so with uh, with uh. You got to remember the House, they control the money. The House Ways and Means Committee writes the check. Yeah. And Nancy Pelosi, who is the Speaker of the House, she controls the purse. That's why she can dictate to Trump whatever she wants, because she controls mm -hmm. the money. And she be talking greasy about that motherfucker, too. She don't give a fuck. She got the power. Yeah. She's the one with all the power. All right, man. Take it easy, Ed. Yeah, she's. She's she's the one with the power, man. Ooh, hey. So that's hey. what you got. That's what you got to remember on that. One. She's got the power. So Trump is going to do whatever he can to cause a ruckus. Now the seed has already been sown with his white supremacist groups. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what's up, brother Dragon? So so you got to watch for that. That's the thing that I'm sitting back waiting to see what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, bro. And then you see, yeah, the man. Go ahead. Yeah. No, nah, no. Nah, I just, yeah. No, nah, I, I, I'm glad you uh, chimed in. But that's why I was like, yo, let me add you in this. So, you know, me and you can, uh, shit, first call me the fuck down. Because <laughs> my Twitter right now might, might be suspended right now because I got at that motherfucker. Right? Yeah. Hey, I, I, so. I saw you going off, man. And I was like, uh oh. That's when I started typing, saying, hey, man, you know, hey, do, 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 this is this. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But, but, uh, but, I want um I uh I think I yeah I told y'all in the, I think in the in the group chat that uh I'm gonna be doing more shit with uh Nora Yara and Rosa three girls yeah, from Amsterdam yeah, yeah. dancing so uh I was gonna just play some beats um because I'm gonna start sending them shit I did as well and uh you know some other mashups and shit that's why I was that's why I came up here in the studio to do at first but. You know, I started the rant shit first. But, uh, <laughs> I was like, let me do, I can play some shit right now while I'm on live right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. But uh, I appreciate you, bro. You know what hey, I mean? man, no problem, man. I think we need to do a, uh, might have to do a, because I, you know, I, I've been wanting to do like a podcast, you know, just, just really? speaking on certain shit. And uh, you definitely the person that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do that was goes with the knowledge and, you know, just, whether it's music or that stuff you, you put me up on, you know what I mean? So 
Yeah, yeah man. That'd be, that'd, be, hey, that'd, be, that'd, be, that'd be good, man. I'd be down with you. Word. That's what's up. Hey, um, because it's easy to do with the Zoom. Um, I mean, yeah. I was having a little, I think, well, I think it was some Wi Fi issues on Grab Lotus end, but I had found out when I was, rec I was recording it and streaming it. And the only reason why I did that was, um, I don't know, I guess I just wanted it, the video to have it right away. But, you know, after it's done streaming on YouTube, I can, I can always download it from YouTube. So as soon as I cut the recording off for it to stop recording, I had no more uh, connectivity issues. Um, so now I know, okay, when I, if I use Zoom to stream to YouTube, just don't record it. Just let it stream. Let it, it go. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, yeah. Learn, you learn shit. Yeah. yeah. You learn as you go, man. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Or, I'm glad that the guy. I'm glad I got to calm you down, man, because you look like you was just ready to just go fire, man. Yeah, man. I just, you know, just a lot of shit, man, weighing on my mind. Just, you know, that shit, personal shit, just a lot of shit. So it's just like you need that outlet, bro, because it's like people that are mentally unstable and don't have an outlet and don't have nobody around them, they're the ones that will go out and turn up. Then you yeah. be like, damn, this dude went and just went to the mall and just started, you know, shooting people. Like, like there's something leading up to that. You know what I mean? And yeah. see, it gets yeah. real. So. Trust me, man. I, I, I know I'm dealing with a lot of shit, too. But, you know, just sitting back and looking at it and just parse it yeah. as best you can. So yeah. I'm not paying as I'm, I'm putting it like this. I'm paying attention. But mm -hmm. I'm looking for certain stuff. So I'm able to pilfer through all of the bullshit and I'm looking for the certain shit. So like the one thing that's coming out is um, Mike Flint. William Barr had to prosecute the U.S. attorneys, tell the judge they wanted to drop the charges, even though he already pled guilty. That's what right. What's that about? So he's the guy who first colluded with the Russian ambassador right after Trump got elected in December 2016. Yeah, yeah. He was the national security advisor. He's yeah. the one that pled guilty first. Now Trump's trying to get him off. He's using William Barr to do it. The judge has, take, has taken a step back because the judge is actually the one that wanted to fry his ass. You know, told him he did a disservice to his country and he ought to be ashamed. Mm -hmm. So now this is back in front of the judge. They want to drop the case. Well, they're slowly leaking these transcripts, but the last transcript for the new director of national intelligence, the new Radcliffe, I think is his name. He released some transcripts of Flynn's testimony and, and things that he told the FBI. So it's right there, plain and black and white, that the man confessed to the crime, admitted yeah. to the crime. So there's no way you should be getting them off. So the thing that they brought up, I was listening to it this morning, is, if that was a black person who tried to do that, would Trump be trying to get him off on that, even though they've admitted to the crime? Be underneath the prison right now. Right? So what he so right now what they're doing is they're manipulating law, trying to and set precedent. You're not yeah. hearing about that on the news, but that is a major thing right now. If this shit happens, if, now major. this judge right now has the power to either take the prosecutor's recommendation. Yo, New, I mean to cut you off, but IG's about to end. You know, they only give mm -hmm. you an hour. Oh, that's right. Yeah, All so 